has been a little blah in your bedroom lately. If you answered yes, we are going to help you spice up your life in just a little bit, your love life, in time for Valentine's Day. Here with some advice is the host of the Sirius XM show Sex with Emily, Emily, Emily Morse. Emily's going to answer some of the most common questions she gets on her show. And if you have kids at home right now, it's probably a really good time to take them in another <laughs> well, room. Bye, yeah. kitties. Yeah. All right, shall we go with our first question? <laughs> yes. Okay, I'm going to go right here. The first question is... Do I have questions in here? Uh-huh. All right. How do we make sex happen despite crazy schedules? Oh. People always say, We're, I'm too busy, you I'm know, too that's, busy. That's a really, that's a big question. You have to prioritize intimacy in your relationship. We all get busy, you put it in the back burner, you have kids, you think you're going to get back to it. We never do. Mm -hmm. So you have to schedule sex. I know that doesn't sound sexy yeah. at all, yeah. but then you know it's going to happen. And mm -hmm. there can be it's some right, anticipation. It's just, exactly. if it's just you right. on your own. It's do that every get. day. Well, you yeah. know that probably. But, right. but you you know, it's the kind of thing, right, and it sounds not sexy. People are like, that's the least sexy Seems thing. Boring, right? However, if you're constantly trying to have it, your partner's rejecting you, it's much better yeah. to know. Then we look forward to it. Right. Anticipation. Wednesday's happening. Build it up. Wednesday's happening. Don't bother me on Monday. Yeah. Okay. Right. Don't bother right. me. <laughs> <laughs> like we said, we said Wednesday. I'm, I'm extremely uncomfortable with this entire conversation. <laughs> you, know, you know I'm a Scottish Protestant, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm not prepared to admit that this actually exists. Right. Well, oh, this is good for you, then. I guess. Right. It's healthy. All right, what do you do when one partner wants sex more than the other? Oh, okay, yeah. well, this is the most common challenge that couples face. And so you have to compromise. Here's the thing. If someone wants sex once a week and you want sex three times a week, then you have, like, sex two times a week. Mm -hmm. Here's the thing. It is your duty in a relationship. You can't just like give up. People often say, I've had enough, I don't want to do it. Oh, but it's your duty, it's what brings you together in a relationship. So you can't just say one day, I'm not taking care of the kids, I'm not paying half the mortgage. Like, work on your sex life, prioritize it. Wouldn't you Even say if the you're impotency is more of a, a big issue than, than what we just said was the most important thing? Impot Imp yeah, that, that's a big problem for a lot of people. For, yeah, like, libido's not having desire and not having it, not being able to get out. It is a huge issue. And then that's when you go to your doctor. If you really don't have desire, but sometimes it's just because we're bored. Yeah. Like, we truly are not inspired anymore. There's no novelty. There's nothing interesting. Yeah. Yeah. And when we get that spark back, then we're like, shirts. oh, now I want to oh. have it. How does the one who doesn't have sex at all get to <laughs> ask a question? How do I ask for this is really asking funny. for a friend? How do I ask for and receive what I really want in bed? I just want a good night's sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like a sandwich, please. <laughs> Ham. Can I have a sandwich? No, you get crumbs everywhere. See, Go that's ahead. good. You ask for it, okay? You ask for what you want, right? All right. Sex is the same thing. Communication is a lubrication. The more we ask for what we want, oh, okay. now Craig's out. Okay. the more likely you're going to get. It's true. No, no, right. no, 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 please. I, I, I go ahead. Can, I'm going to just see if the kids are okay. <laughs> He loves it. He does. Yeah, this is a, kind of been oh. the same day, but how do I get out of a sexual rut? Yeah, okay, that's a tough one. I mean, when you're in, you're in the rut because you're doing the same things over and over, over and, and over, over again. If you like them. It gets boring. If you like them, you still get bored. Yeah. So try one thing different. You don't have to go buy a dungeon or anything. Mm -hmm. It's one thing. That sounds you fun. You could bring, well, right, if you're into it, sure. You could rent a dungeon Butterflies. and see if you like it first. Anything, one thing. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Like, I just mix it up. I'm invest in one. Bring back the role playing. Try something sexy oh. like do, change of scenery outside the bedroom if you're you always say hotel having, sex is hotel great. sex is hot one yeah. night go for a few hours yeah. mix up you're in a rut because you're staring at the same ceiling and the same laundry in the corner the whole time right so if you change it you go in the living room or a hotel room it's yeah. different okay mix it all up all How right about that? Emily, what what you? You? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm picking uh, what it all up